my name is Guru Pashupati. This is the show where I answer your questions on wellness, health, and well-being. Uh, I'm doing a diabetes special where I've got 27 questions about diabetes, which will cover every aspect of diabetes. And if you listen to all these answers, all these 27 answers, you'll feel well equipped to deal with diabetes. Uh, if, if someone in the family has it or if you have it or if you are at risk of it okay so uh, let's get started uh, the first question is what is diabetes and uh, diabetes is a over uh, um, or rather to have too much sugar in the blood glucose specifically okay so excess blood glucose as a chronic condition in your blood is called diabetes that's it so it's named by the symptom it doesn't tell you anything about the causes of the disease so if you get diagnosed with diabetes understand you've not been diagnosed they haven't told you what's wrong with you they've only told you what's happening in you that's it that's not a diagnosis a diagnosis has to tell you the cause okay i even checked up the dictionary meaning just to be sure because my whole life I've not got diagnosis. I've only got a restatement of the symptoms. Yeah, so diabetes as a word is quite useless. Let's go into it and understand it more deeply. What are the early signs and symptoms of diabetes? And what are pre-diabetic conditions? Okay, so what's the early signs and symptoms of diabetes? Um, you can get low energy. And you can get very angry because when your blood sugar drops after it's gone high, then the uh, insulin comes and packs it into your fat cells. Okay, so that's how when you get diabetes, you start getting fatter because the insulin is taking the sugar out, it's compressing them, making them into triglycerides and pushing it into your fat cells. And then uh, you, you kind of have low blood sugar all of a sudden and then you get cranky so if you have crankiness and if you have problems with your eyes it's gone really far then because i know people who found out about diabetes after they went blind and then you can have uh, a lot of uh, diabetic neuropathy which means a lot of pains in your body and you get exhausted very fast you won't have any energy and um, what else you start getting infections because all that excess glucose is feeding bacteria in your body and the glucose itself is toxic to the the body if it's there for too long if it's not used as a fuel it's a fuel so it can burn and it will burn up parts of your body okay and that's how the neuropathies and other kind of retinopathies and all of that happen because it's burning away parts of your body so you can get various symptoms because of diabetes another one is that you you will have interrupted sleep it's called nocturia you you your sleep will be interrupted for you uh, to uh, uh, you know urinate you will have frequent urination and uh, you get thirsty very fast okay if you're getting thirsty a lot then you should probably get yourself checked for diabetes all right um, what are the causes of diabetes? This is my favorite question because I myself had diabetes. I had something called 1.5 diabetes 1.5 which is called LADA latent autoimmune diabetes in adults where my immune system started attacking my pancreas the islet cells to be specific with islet cells antibodies and I wasn't able to produce insulin as much as was required by my body and I started having really high sugars and I didn't know what to do. The doctors were advising me to uh, uh, inject myself with insulin and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to find out what's the cause of it. So I'm going to tell you about the various causes of the three types of diabetes and uh, you'll find this very useful if you have diabetes or if you know someone who has diabetes or if you're at high risk for it because other people in your bloodline have got it okay so uh, the first type of diabetes the type 1 diabetes is also called juvenile diabetes because it's a congenital problem 
from when the child is born it's not producing enough insulin because there's something wrong with the pancreas okay the pancreas itself is either physically damaged or it's uh, lacking some kind of cells to produce insulin that's it so then that person cannot produce insulin they have to take injections for the rest of their life of insulin and uh, there are some really great doctors i know who run uh, understanding diabetes it's a website if you search for it you can find it these guys are experts in dealing with all types of diabetes but especially type 1 because they both are type 1 diabetics in the pink of their health uh, in their 40s now and they're really doing great they're living life to the fullest just by taking injections so if you are if you got type 1 you uh, you got to learn from these guys and and just copy them and do exactly what they do yeah so yeah it's two guys called ravi and cyrus so you should check it out the doctors i think one of them is a doctor or uh, i'm not sure if they're doctors or not but they're effective and uh, type 2 diabetes is uh, caused by uh, two factors actually since i've treated a lot of patients uh, india is the diabetes capital and in the last 5 years i must have treated over 200 patients and cured them of diabetes so um the second one has actually two causes the first one the first cause is uh, intramyocellular fat so inside your muscle a little fat is stored which is called intramyocellular fat and this is an emergency energy fuel which the muscle uses when it's out of glucose so there's always a little fat there but then because of eating the wrong kind of diet the liver gets oversaturated and first they get a fatty liver and after that they get diabetes where uh, the um, the fats uh, start increasing inside inside the muscles the muscles start taking up some fat and then that kind of like a chewing gum in a keyhole it goes and blocks the receptors from inside So now when the insulin comes and sits it can't really make contact it can't send any molecules here because it's blocked by fat and so the person's muscles become insulin resistant and reject all the glucose which is then floating around in the body causing symptoms of diabetes so it's not like the person isn't producing insulin they are in fact now they're producing excess insulin which is making them fatter and fatter so this is the type 2 diabetes one of the causes another cause for excess sugar in the blood is that the liver dumps its glucose stores into the blood every time you have a stressful or fearful thought a little bit of fear is enough and in yoga there are 18 kinds of fears a little bit of any one of the 18 kinds of fears will uh, create uh, a drop of sugar big massive drop of glucose into your blood stream by the liver so the liver dumps its glucose into the blood stream because it thinks you are afraid so there's something to run away from so let me pump this guy with energy and the liver just pumps you with energy with sugar and then what happens uh, the blood glucose is always out of control because you're always having fearful thoughts and this can only be cured by removing all those karmas that are causing those thoughts in the first place so Uh, this is something that it can be beautifully done and i teach it to all my yogis so uh, get in touch with me if you want to be a yogi and learn all these cool things okay and uh, the third type is of course type 1.5 that's what i got is when your autoimmune system when your immune system starts attacking the pancreas but even that is not a cause okay why did the immune system get crazy in the first place why is it going and attacking my own pancreas After a lot of research and study I found out that it's happening to me because there are some viruses uh, which have taken refuge in my pancreas and these uh, immune cells are going and attacking them and destroying the cell to destroy the virus so all autoimmune diseases are usually this we haven't discovered this yet okay but it's a theory that I worked on and I started getting results when I started treating the person for virus when i put them on a diet that is antiviral when i started giving them herbs that are antiviral then uh, they've got cured of autoimmune diseases and the same thing i did for myself 
I started taking antiviral adaptogens and herbs and it got completely cured and I've, it's never come back again. Maybe some cells got destroyed but I think they got reju rejuvenated because this time's blood reports, I got a really good report card with regards to my diabetes. My HbA1c is 5.2, I've never seen this kind of numbers and uh, yeah, it's, it's like a big transformation, okay. HbA1c is an indicator of the average blood sugar you've had for the past um, three months. It shows how glycosylated your red blood cells are.